Hey there, it's Chris and welcome back to the video. And today I'm recording a little impromptu video because I saw something that piqued my interest and that is a new type of drink I've seen circulating recently on the Espresso subreddit. And that is an iced foamed Americano. More specifically, it's an iced Americano that's been steamed by a steam wand. Now I can't take credit for this idea. I believe the first post did come from a user um, that goes by the name RockboxATX on the Espresso subreddit where he posted a picture of this delicious looking drink. And essentially all it is is espresso with ice and water all inside a frothing pitcher and then you just steam it for a little bit until it develops this nice thick and creamy top layer, almost something like what you'd expect from nitrogen cold brew. So today I'm going to do just that and test it out, but I want to do it with three different methods. One, using a steam wand, two, using the nanofoamer, and three, maybe seeing if I can use something like a cocktail shaker or, since I don't have one, some sort of jar or glass to shake it. All right, so with that being said, let's go make some espresso. 12 seconds later. Okay, so I have now made three shots of espresso. I've got all the apparatus here prepared. I've got one large pitcher that I'm going to be using for steaming. I have uh, the nanofoamer pitcher, which I'm going to be using, of course, with the nanofoamer. And I have a fellow carter, which is just going to be my shaking vessel of choice because I don't have a cocktail shaker. All right, so I have three shots of espresso here. All three were prepared exactly the same. Um, they might be losing their bit of crema at the top. I don't know if that's going to affect the final product, but um, because they have, of course, been sitting here while I prepare uh, to film this. So I'm going to dump each shot into each of the three different vessels. All right, so each of these shots are about 40 grams. Um, and I'm going to be using a 1 to 3 ratio of espresso to water, so I'll be adding in 120 grams of water into each. Alright, and unfortunately I don't have three of the exact same um, glassware, so I'm going to be using two of the fellow uh, stag glasses and one of this sort of beer pint-like glass. Okay, so now I have three pitchers of espresso water all mixed together. Uh, 40 grams of espresso, 120 grams of water. Now I'm going to be adding in, uh, let's see, four ice cubes into each pitcher. And for those wondering, each of my ice cubes are 17 and a half grams. All right, so we have our espresso water ice mixtures. Now I'm going to go ahead and start with the fellow Carter. Okay, so, fellow Carter test, let's see how it turned out. All right, and look at that. So that is our first drink. So this is 40 grams of espresso, 120 grams of water, um, four times 17 and a half gram ice cubes shaken in a fellow Carter for, I don't know, 15, 20 seconds maybe and then pour it out into a glass. So there is a nice thick layer of foam here at the top. Um, the color does look like a typical Americano, so let's give it a taste. The taste is really quite good. I mean, it's it's a standard Americano prepared with a um, well-made espresso shot, but it doesn't quite have that texture, I think, that I'm looking for, but let's compare it to the other two first. Okay, so the next method here is using the Nanofoamer. All right, so that was, I don't know, maybe another 20, 30 seconds with the nanofoamer. Um, so far, the top layer does look a little bit thicker, but let's pour it into the glass and see what the outcome is. All right, so right away, we've got a little bit more of that, I would say, uh, looks to be like a little bit of a thicker layer of foam. That also might just be because the diameter of this cup is a little bit smaller than the other one I was using. Um, it does look like there are less of those little bubbles that form just under the layer of foam compared to the shaken one with the carter. But let's give it a taste. Again, it's a pretty good Americano. I don't necessarily know if it's got that texture I'm looking for, so let's hope the steam one method is going to be the best one here. Okay, so that was maybe 10 to 15 seconds on the steam wand. Let's see how this one looks and tastes. Wow. Okay, right away you can see the difference in that cup. This is almost entirely just 
foam. It's definitely got that nice sort of cascading nitrogen cold brew like effect going on for it. Looks absolutely beautiful, really. Um, you can definitely see that there's a lot more air incorporated throughout the whole drink um, from the nano foamer. I mean, nano foamer and the Carter are very similar, but definitely visually is not even close to this, which makes me wonder if this effect could be replicated a little bit better with the nano foamer, maybe. Um, but yeah. Anyways, let's give it a taste. This method by far is the best method um, using a steam wand. It's got that nice, thick, creamy texture on top. It's very reminiscent of something like nitrogen cold brew. Um, the taste is, of course, great. It's a standard Americano prepared with great espresso. I do think that the steam one obviously melts a little bit of that ice, so you do need to add a little bit more ice after you froth up your drink. But this is a very interesting way to prepare your morning iced coffee, if that is what you're into. I mean, again, just take a look at that thick layer of foam on top. Got that very nice cascading effect going on from the foam down towards the bottom. It had that very nice gradient at the start, as you could tell. The texture is amazing. All right, so anyways, that's going to be it for this short little impromptu video, testing out a couple different things based on what I've seen online. Um, let me know your thoughts in the description down below. You should definitely try this out for yourself. It's super easy to do. It's literally just an iced Americano that's been steamed a little bit by a steam wand. Um, and I think it's something that's definitely worth trying out. Anyways, thanks for watching this video. Do leave a like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next one.